Hi, this is Rory Singh from thepowerhousemarketer.com. Uh, sorry about the lighting. Lighting's dark, but uh, the words are more important than the visual. Uh, so just listen to what I got to say here. A lot of you guys here may be marketing systems like Move and Digital Altitude. Uh, a lot of you are probably worried. Uh, are FTC going to shut down everything? You know, what what can I join that's going to be safe? Well, nothing's safe, right? There's going to be a risk with everything. It comes with uh, the word entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is a, ta a risk taker. Okay. Uh, what what you got need to understand here is uh, we are in a universe, right? The universe is in charge, guys. It's not governments in charge. Universe has more authority. Uh, so what you are, you got to just focus on yourself and uh, your alignment with your higher self, uh, your alignment with your source, God, God itself, okay? Uh, those are the things that you need to concern yourself with, okay? And once you're uh, operating from ethics, you're going to be okay. I'm not going to say that you won't be able to lose money from time to time because stuff happens and... Uh, this is the way it goes. Uh, there's a lot, always risk uh, with everything, especially in the world of entrepreneurialism. FTC is not going to be shutting down everything. Uh, system owners are going to learn from what uh, we saw with these two companies. Um, I never marketed MOB, but I did market Digital Altitude for a little while. Um, I seen some ideas floating around YouTube. One guy was saying uh, the reason MOB got shut down was because all their products were digital as well as with digital altitude um, well they had, they had they had conferences right live events and they charged uh, a fee um, so in order to consume those type of products you've got to attend it physically um, so they did have physical products as well um, it doesn't matter if you're marketing lipstick or you're marketing a digital product a product is a product as long as it has value okay uh, so I just wanted to debunk that idea it doesn't matter if it's a digital product or if it's a tangible product a Weber is not gonna you know bat an eyelash or worry about being shut down because they're offering a, a good product and it's a hundred percent digital so it's get response auto email autoresponder softwares you guys want to be digital nomads, not tangible product nomads, okay? Uh, another uh, myth going around is the products are too expensive. I don't think the FTC, FTC has an issue with the price tag. FTC has more of an issue uh, with what you're telling people. The ad copy needs to change uh, industry-wide. You can't uh, give people the impression that you could replace or even hit uh, a six-figure income. Let's say you can't promise people a six that they could reach a six-figure income within a 90-day span. Okay, um, so that's got to change. I still see a lot of companies still giving that impression, and that needs to change. I think that's the main thing. So the price tag is not the problem here. A lot of you guys are after freedom. And what is your freedom worth to you? If you bought a product up to $40,000 and then you actually became a marketer, meaning you went through the process, you're generating traffic. Number two, you're generating leads. Number three, you're, you're lear you've learned email marketing. Number four, you've got at least five to ten people at least looking at your, your business opportunity every single day. Then you, my friend, are going through the process. The great majority of people uh, joining stuff are not even up to that point where they have people. When they're sharing their opportunity. They're not having people look at their opportunities. Most people are just joining stuff, right? Not everyone's doing that, but the great majority are still doing so. Okay. So it's not the price tag. I've seen a guy selling events for up to $100,000 for a single day motivational uh, experience and people are paying the price. So it's not really the price tag. It's what you're telling people or promising people that, oh, if you buy this course, it's going to guarantee your success. Okay, so that's got to change. But that's still not the big thing that I wanted to talk about today. The big thing I wanted to talk about was the greed. There's too much greed going on in this industry. I don't want to turn you off from this industry because what what, what can you do? If you, you guys want to free yourself from your jobs, um, you should be able to do so 
finding the right vehicle. Uh, some people are leaving their jobs to buy franchises. To me, that's not the best idea. It's like buying a job uh, for hundreds of thousands of, of dollars and then having to uh, be at a, a physical business for 80 hours up to 80 hours a week that's just to me that's kind of a crazy idea so i don't want to turn you off of this industry but there is a lot of greed uh there is greed with company owners uh, no company owners perfect uh there is greed from the top leaders and a great majority of them seem to want to dominate every every square inch of the make money online cyberspace industry guys they want to dominate that's that's kind of greedy but the worst form of greed, okay, a lot of people may not like me saying this, the worst form of greed is from the people, the people joining stuff, uh, what's in their hearts. You see, the great majority of opportunity seekers out there, the first thing that they do is sponsor shop. Uh, super affiliate does not sponsor shop. I don't mean a fly-by-night super affiliate. Fly-by-night super affiliate uh, may get lucky for a few years, experience some uh, make a lot of money for two three years and then something goes wrong and they end up back at their job some of them uh, will get to the point of millions of dollars and then have to go back to to uh, doing a job maybe even uh, doing manual labor right uh, I'm not talking about fly-by-night I'm talking about a real super affiliate that's experiencing success for five to ten years um, a real super affiliate will not sponsor shop if they like a deal, they're going to go back to the first link, uh, the first person that shared them the link and just join regardless of who shared the link with them. Uh, because they know in their hearts that it comes down to you what you're willing to do for yourself, to free yourself, not by... But the thing is, the great majority of people in this industry, they're going to sponsor shop looking for a shortcut uh, because of greed. Uh, they want to. They want an, a, a competitive edge above everyone else, and the thing is, uh, that's just a load of BS because it's going to stab your success in the head even by thinking like that. So the average opportunity seeker has more greed than the leaders and the company owners. But there's just too much greed going on. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little, a quick story. Uh, I heard not too long ago there was a gentleman named Vic Strizhaus. Vic Strizhaus. Some of you might. Uh, have heard, have heard of him, a uh, very successful marketer online. Uh, I think he's got the 4% group now. Awesome, awesome program. I'm not part of the 4% either, but uh, um, Mr. Uh, Strizhaus offers a lot of value to the marketplace. He teaches people a lot of stuff that can help them up to now. That's one of the main reasons that he's successful. That's a nugget right there, guys. Um, Vic, I, I, Vic was part of the Empower Network when the Empower Network was going strong. I, I heard he got kicked out by, uh, I guess, uh, system owners, right? Or system owner at that point in time. Um, there was some controversy around Vic uh, with another heavy hitter. Uh, another heavy hitter was claiming that the company, the ex-company owner of Empower Network owed him money. But that ex-company owner... Uh, was on a video one day and he disclosed some information that I, I watched him disclose and he said no I don't owe you any money man he was talking about another heavy hitter uh, who was claiming that uh, he owed him money he said no when you when because uh, that other heavy hitter got kicked out of the company um, basically the other heavy hitter was saying that Vic uh, was his downline team member and uh, because Vic made a lot of money, uh, and he kicked out the other the, the system owner of Empower Network kicked out the other heavy hitter. That the other heavy hitter was entitled to a lot of money, but when they backtracked the story, the ex system owner disclosed on his Facebook video saying that no, when Vic Strisshouse started, uh, he didn't join the other heavy hitter who bought him a comp account. He actually went back to the first link that was sent to him. Uh, to join Empower Network, and he, the person that he joined wasn't a big super affiliate, was just a regular person who didn't get to the point of success that Vic was at at that point in time. So that story right there just goes to show you that a super affiliate like Vic Strizhaus doesn't think like that. He uh, will go if he likes a deal, 
He knows this thing uh, that we call universal laws of success. He doesn't want to hurt his own success. Um, so he has learned from experience that if he likes a deal, he'll find the first link that was given to him. So that's a nugget right there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you got the information that I served here for you today. Uh, if you got some value here today, please, please uh, give me a thumb up, like this video. Uh, comment please give me give me a nice comment down below um as well as subscribe okay hopefully you got some value again my name is rory singh from the powerhousemarketer.com have yourself an awesome day now